we'll bite because we both need to get this off of our chest. Willard and Tibbs have a lot to say. My only weapon was my mouth. But they just have one big question. Uh, what are you no, doing, what are you right, doing now? right now? What are you doing I, right now? What are, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, John Heyman, what are you doing? Actually, I know exactly what you're doing. But He's I still, trolling. I still want to say, what are you doing? <laughs> you are an Odyssey insider. I like John Heyman. I like John's been on this show. I like having John on the show. He's a teammate. John is tweeting. I mean, he's tweeting about this more often than he's having a snack throughout the day, which tells me everything I need to know. This isn't real. It, it, it's not so much. It's just like anything in debate sports media that's out there. It's like I have a little bit of an opinion, but... Just scream it really loud over and over and go over the top and make it sound like it's a bigger deal than it is because that's going to get clicks and views and discussion. Heyman, every time he tweets that Aaron Judge is now the real home run single season leader, it gets so much traction, he's just tweeting it again and again and again, and the verbiage is getting bigger and bigger. Here's his most recent two hours ago. He tweets out his column from the New York Post. Congrats to Aaron Judge, the real, honest-to-goodness home run champion. Parentheses. Warning. Column intended only for fans of justice and fair play. He's the hero we've all been waiting for. Oh, gross. <laughs> Barf. What? First of all, you and I had this conversation last week. Facts died. Somewhere in like 2018, 2019, the word facts, just it died. It, there, there's a grave somewhere. And now we feel like we get to have opinions about facts. You don't get to... This is not an opinion. This is just fanning flames. There is a fact here that you have decided is not a fact. And that is that Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs. But the bigger question is this for John Heyman. Like... It, it, it's just kind of like when Steiny came in here and was like, Mavs in five. I'm like, you don't actually believe that. You're trying to drive a conversation. Do you think John Heyman actually believes this? Yes. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But like at this level where he's just out here in the streets? Yeah, well, I mean, why not? He's a journalist, Mark. He's not just going to say something to get clicks and likes. <laughs> I mean, that's like <laughs> saying that certain presidential candidates, those who have even gone on to win presidential elections we spent years saying this guy can't honestly believe that turns out that guy honestly believes it he be he believed all that ass that but, he's rolling out but do they but do they do they or do they do they know they're just playing a game or is there somewhere in between where they know it started out as a lie but you say it that's that thing where it's like if you just convince yourself oh, long definitely. enough then you actually believe it's true or you believe it's true from the beginning and then you just beat the drum and you become the leader of that marching band and you go ahead and you play that tune as long as you can and now John Heyman is among the short list of national voices who the real home run champ when in fact the guy who hit his 60-second home run has already gone on the record <laughs> and said right. Barry Bonds is the home run champion. So that tells me one of two things. Either A, Aaron Judge himself is a juicer, and so he's trying to hide behind the fact that he's also oh, juicing. Who knows, right? Or B, he understands more deeply the overall nature of what this is. Major League Baseball is... They've had a bunch of different eras. There was the cocaine era in the 80s. So do we look at all of the, the, the records and all the things that happened in the 80s? The Mets, for example, when they, they beat the Red Sox to win the World Series and half their team was on blow. Do, does that title not count because well, Doc Gooden's got a straw in his pocket? Do you, do you understand, and I think mm -hmm. you do, do you understand how insanely slippery this slope is that he's trying to it's create. It's super slippery. Do you, thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to undo everything that's ever happened in sports because you didn't like the way that it went down? Can you imagine how large? That's more than half of everything we know. Did you watch the Donaghy doc yet? Oh, my God. Are we going to watch Are it? we going to undo every game that Tim refed? Did the Kings actually beat the Lakers in 04? 
You want to go back and now do this because somebody was a little crooked with the way they went about their business? God, he was a winner. Nobody's here to tell you that Bonds was perfect. We're just here to tell you that it happened. Yeah. That's yeah. all. It all happened. Greenies and, you know, Roger Maris was playing during the, the era of rampant amphetamine use. And by the way, and I mentioned this to somebody before, maybe you and I have had this conversation. If you just look at Roger Maris's home run totals and you put his career oh. from 89 to 00 and say, look at this guy's home run total. He's not quite Brady Anderson, oh, but your eyebrows are certainly raised. We'll put Mecca on a lie detector right now if, they, if you did that in the 90s. Hey, no Roger, question. would you mind urinating in this cup for me? Roger Maris. <laughs>